What's going on people? This is Spiderman here once again with another film review and this time I'm talking about The Curse of La Llorona. Yes, that movie. You probably already seen this film. Uh, you probably hated it, but I finally watched it last night and let's talk about this film. So we all know the story of La Llorona or if you don't know, it's a folk tale about this woman who falls in love with a guy and they have uh, kids together and she uh, she pretty much finds out that um, her husband or ex-husband is cheating on her and then you know she decides to drown her own kids in his lake and then she kills herself too and you know she's cursed to roam around and kill kids you know the, the curse of La Llorona so uh, <laughs> We all know the story, if you don't know, but it's a folk tale, you know, that that parents used to tell, you know, Mexican kids that, you know, if you're not good, the Yorona's going to take you and kill you, which is kind of messed up if you think about it, you know. Like, probably here in the United States, it was probably like, you know, the boogeyman. So it's kind of like Mexicans, the Mexico, the Mexican version of the boogeyman, you know, as a crying, a weeping woman. So anyways guys, so this movie <laughs> so this movie's about this social worker and uh, she's working on the case of this girl, this mother and she has uh, these two kids and it may it seems that the movie makes it seem like oh this mother is really bad because she has these two kids locked up, you know, in like a secret room in her in her apartment or whatever and yeah, so the caseworker uh, lets the kids out and that kind of like sets the whole uh, you know the the bad things happen right after that and it turns out well you know the mom wasn't trying to like you know abuse them by locking them in there she was trying to protect them from La Llorona and you know then La Llorona of course appears and does her thing now the problem with this film is that La Llorona, you see her, you see, too, you see too much of her in this film, like you see too much of her to the point where, like she kind of loses that man, that scary presence or whatever, and it feels like this feels like a Conjuring movie, like the same effects that the Conjuring has or the Nun or whatever, it has the same feel. I'm pretty sure uh, James Wan or whoever had something to do with this film or whatever, and it's pretty obvious. There's a lot of jump scares, and there's a lot of just shit that, there's nothing new here. It's just typical jump scare horror film, you know, shit that goes on. And the same familiar crap, you know. I mean, there's nothing new here. And the film just starts, it starts becoming a chore after like the mid-halfway point. And you're just like, oh man, dude, I wish something like new or something, or at least like a twist or something would happen. But nothing ever does, and by the time, I'm going to tell you guys, to be honest, the honest truth is that by the time this film almost came to an end, I, I kind of fell asleep, so I didn't really watch the ending, but then I rewatched it again, and I was like, oh man, it was so not worth it, I should have just fell asleep. I mean, this film was really terrible, man, like, like they didn't, it's like they didn't even try, the writing wasn't even, you know, like they got lazy on the writing, I mean, come on, man. You know, I know it's just like La Llorona, you know, but to make a film like this and not really put, like, something new in here or at least something that, you know, kind of takes away from the original story, I feel like they could have put, like, a better story here, you know, um, and they, they just dropped the ball on this, man. It's very, it's very generic. I mean, sheesh. And like I said, you see too much of La Llorona in here, which kind of takes away from the mystery, from the menacing look that she has, you know, from this from this whole mystique that she has. And that just kills the vibe. It kills the whole film. I was surprised here to see, uh, what's his name, Raymond Cruz from uh, all those gangster movies uh, playing a shaman of all people. And it just wasn't believable. I mean, you know, he has like this thug bad boy look you know this gangster look to him 
And I was like, I ain't buying this, man. This guy, he's supposed to be a shaman, you know, and a curandero. And I was like, nah, man, it, it doesn't work for, for his uh, demeanor, you know. So at the end of the day, am I able to recommend The Curse of La Llorona? Hell no, man. If you're curious about this film, just watch the trailer. But I'm telling you guys, this film was terrible. More terrible than what I expected. I wasn't expecting much going into this film. I gotta be honest. But damn, man. They could have put at least somewhat of an effort to make this, you know, original or different than all these other horror movies have been coming out. But they did it, man. They just got lazy. So I give this film a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10, and that's pretty bad. I haven't given a movie 3 out of 10 in a while, but that's just what I thought. And wow, man, I am not going to get this on Blu-ray. Don't even waste your time on this, guys. You know, and um, and I've seen a lot of terrible movies so far, too. So, But this, man, this is one of the worst, the top five of the worst horror films. Me being a horror film fan, you know, that's saying something. But yeah, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this film. Uh, do you give it the same score? Do you give it a lower score? Did you not even bother watching this, you know? Um, oh, yeah, and there is a, a small cameo. Annabelle is in this film, you know. There's a small cameo that she that she has in this film. And I was surprised to see her in here. But even, you know, even Annabelle is more scary than La Llorona, to be honest. It made her seem more, you know, like menacing and dark. But, yeah, guys... Let me know what you guys think, and don't forget to subscribe. We're almost to 100 subscribers, so let me know what's up. Let's go. Peace.